spontaneous. I only went to work for a little bit today, so I got home and I was like, hmm, I'm bored. I want to do something. So I figured, hey, I'll do a tutorial. But since I already had, you know, some makeup on, I was like, well, I don't feel like washing all of this back off and then putting more on. So I'm going to utilize it. And I'm actually going to show you guys how to go from day to night. Uh huh. Smart, right? Okay, so um, my face right now is pretty basic. Only thing I have on, I have on brows. Always fill in your brows, no matter what. Um, my brows are filled in. Eye makeup, clear lip gloss, and blush. So I'm going to work off of what I have. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. All right, so pretty much everything's already primed and ready to go. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke out my eyes a little bit. So I'm going to use... First, I'm going to go in with this Too Faced Chocolate Palette, and I want to use this brown hot fudge color right here. Can you guys see it? You got it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That brown hot fudge color, and I want that to go just right in the corner. So I'm actually, I'm going to take a MAC 217 brush, and it is going to go right in the corner, like so. And don't take it up to the crease or anything. Just pop it right in the corner. Caesar, get out of my basket. Caesar's awake. Great. Okay, lay down. Go lay down. So like I said, just in the corner. Don't take it up too high. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Like so, here. And I'm just doing this just to darken it up some. And it's okay if you make a mess over there. We're going to clean that up with concealer. Can you guys see me? And that's not a makeup spot. I just have a weird mole right there. Okay, so I've got... Can you guys see what's going on in the eye area? Let's see. No, no. Come in. Come to me. Mwahaha. Okay, that was creepy. Okay, there we go. Alright, so in the corners here, just so you guys can see a little bit what's going on. That's better. Okay. Next, I am going to go in with Too Faced Return of the Sexy Palette again. And I want to use this dark purple color right here. And I'm going to use 224. 224. Okay, now this is going all up in the crease. So all the way from here and over. Okay, next I am going to take, let's do some gray. I'm winking it. Same palette again. And I'm going to grab a flat brush here if I can find it. Oh, yeah, there it is. You know what? This is actually going to be a dark eye. I'm changing my mind. So, this gray, can you guys, I'm bad at this, right here, the one with the hole in it, that's going on the lid. We're going for it. Smoke it out, baby. Okay, now I'm just patting this on the lid. I like this color. It's kind of like a cool gunmetal type color. And just put that all over the lid. That looks cool with the purple too. Can you guys see it? I hope so. So now I'm going to go back in with that dark purple again and guess what? I'm just adding more. Lots and lots of sparkles. Okay, because there is so much sparkle in this, be careful. You want to take it right up to the crease. Don't go too high, okay? We want to leave this part in here just nice and matte. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in with the color that's close to my skin tone. doesn't matter, matter what palette it is, what the certain color is. I'm just using peanut butter from my um, chocolate bar palette because that's the closest thing that I have on me right now. And now I'm just blending this out here to get rid of any harsh lines. Okay, 
Then I'm gonna take a highlight color in that same palette, the coconut cream. And I'm not into a super highlighted brow bone. That's just not my style, but if you're into it, you go for it. But I'm just lightly, just putting a little pop at the brow. Okay, so there we go with the eye shadow. So yeah, that's just a kind of a cool, just, you know, super simple, just a purple, grayish, smoky eye. Next, I'm going to take my Sephora liquid liner, and guess what? Line my eyes. Here we go. So, okay, now that I got all my eye stuff going on, next I'm going to go ahead and move on to foundation. And I'm going back, ooh, back on out of here. Okay, I am taking the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the matte and poreless. This is for normal to oily skin and my color is 355 coconut. How was that coconut? Whatever, I don't pick the names. But um, I've used this a couple of times and it's pretty good. I don't think I've played with it enough to get a review going on it. Maybe I should. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I'm going to take that on the back of my wrist, and of course it's drugstore, so it doesn't have a pump, which makes life hard, so you probably get too much product, but that's all good. And I'm taking a beauty blender, and you know, the drill here. Okay, now here, this is the part where if you have any eyeshadow that has fallen, all you do is just cut it off here with your foundation. It'll make it nice and crisp. Hang on anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's too much. That's too much. That's too much. I'm wasting a lot. <laughs> so far, I've never really, like I said, I've only used this a couple of times. And I'm really liking it. I mean, for, you know, it wasn't expensive at all. I think it might have been maybe, I don't know, six or seven bucks. I can't remember. And I'm liking the coverage of it. I mean, it's definitely medium, the full coverage, and I can for sure tell that this is very buildable, so that's not bad. I think this will be my replacement for my Revlon Color Stay because I don't use that anymore because that whole fiasco with the CEO making a bunch of racist comments towards African American Jews, and I just felt like that was not okay. Even... And for the record, even if he still didn't even say anything about African Americans, I don't like racism, period, against any kind whatsoever. So yeah, I'm not going to really get into that. So yeah, this will be my replacement. That looks good, right? I think so. Okay, next I'm going to go in with some MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and we're going to hide up under the eye. Yes, I'm using my finger. It's all good. It's just to make a little highlight. And this is another good way to clean up any fallout with concealer. Now, I'm not a big fan of cleaning up eyeshadow with concealer because I feel like essentially the concealer does get mixed in with the eyeshadow. But if it's just something like, you know, as far as like on the corners of the eyes, yeah, then I'm, I'm good with it. That's not a big deal to me. I know some artists, they do use concealer to clean up eyeshadow, and that's totally fine. Everyone has different style, but that's just me. Uh, I'm not really into that. Ooh. Yes. Come through, highlight. Okay. <laughs> So now I'm just making sure this is nice and blended. Caesar, what are you doing? Impressed. Out of the toilet. Out of the toilet. Hey, 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 hey! I wish it wasn't so hot outside so we could go for a run. But we can't. I like Caesar. Next, I am going to take, oh, good, you laid down, my CoverGirl pressed powder. And this is just to highlight. Not highlight, just set that concealer because you know how that goes you kind of cakey then i'm just going to take what is this my arbonne brush powder brush and i'm only powdering where i get greasy i really haven't been 
powdering my whole face unless I don't have any foundation on. So that's a new thing for me. I just feel like the foundation changes when you put a powder over it. Like a lot of my foundations are already mattifying anyhow. So I feel like if I put found uh, not put foundation, if I put powder over that, it makes it look cakey and kind of flat and starky and I don't like that. So I just powder where I need. And actually I think I'm gonna throw a little bit more highlight up under the brow. Yeah, I know, I know. I said I'm not into it. And I'm not, I just can't really tell a difference. So now I'm going to use an Urban Decay, what is this, Naked 3 Strange, what I used to use all the time. Yeah, there we go. Don't blow on your brushes, people. That's a bad habit. Okay, now I'm happy, now I'm happy. Next, I'm going to go in with some blush. I'm going to use my all-time favorite, MAC and Raisin. I need to get a new one because I have hit the pan. MAC blushes are the jam. I think I've had this one for like two years. It takes forever to run out of. And this is always my go-to one too. Even if I'm doing, you know, daytime, natural, nighttime. You can really, you can build it or you can make it as light as you want. And I'm going hammer with this. A little too much. Okay, I'm going to take my flat top elf foundation brush here and just kind of blend out a little bit. There we go. Okay, next I am taking my Real Techniques, Real Techniques contour brush here. A Maybelline Fit Me Powder 360 in what color is this? Mocha. This is a little too warm for a contour, but we're going with it today because everyone knows I don't do strong contour. So here we go. Just a little dimension. And then for my highlight, this has been my favorite. I have this palette. I normally keep it in my client kit, but um, I snatched it out of there, the Morphe blush palette. And this blush, these are, a lot of these do have shimmers in them so I don't really use them as blushes more so as highlights and I'm using this right here this is beautiful I wish their blushes and things had names but that's okay like can you see that do you not see that right now it's good stuff it's good and the best way I found to apply a highlight mm-hmm mm-hmm bling bling the best way I found to apply highlight is with a fan brush and then the only thing left oh no we're not quite done yet my bad I need my flat brush again and now I'm going to go up under my eye smoke it out And I'm using my beauty blender here so that way I do not. Caesar, hush. He's doing something over there. He's probably playing with the laundry basket. But um, that way I do not touch my foundation with my oily fingers and jack it up. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Stila Kitten. And this is going to be my inner tear dock highlight. So, again, with a flat brush. And this is very sparkly, so be careful. That's pretty. For me to be winging this, it's not that bad. I was a little like, oh crap, at first when I was doing my eyes, but now it's all coming together. I'm not perfect. Sometimes I mess up. Sometimes I do my makeup and I'm like, uh uh, no, no, I'm not feeling it. But this is pretty, pretty good if I do say so myself. Okay, mascara, typically I would put on lashes if I'm going out, but I'm pretty sure after this video, I'm not going anywhere. I'm actually probably going to wash my face and then edit. So it's all good. I'm doing it just for you. 
just for you guys. Okay, and then to finish off, because I've got a lot of darkness going on in my eye. Caesar, bye. Caesar, stop. Okay, sorry. Because I have a lot of darkness going on with my eyeshadows, that means nude lip. So I'm going to use my favorite lip liner, and don't laugh, and don't judge me, and don't knock me. But this is Avon. Yes, I said Avon. When I was a um, coach as a Christmas present, one of my um, little kids, their parents, I guess, was an Avon consultant, and they gave me lip liner. And I was like, all right, cool, whatever. And I love this lip liner because it goes perfect for my nude lips. So this is um, Avon lip liner in chocolate. And because I've got so much blingage going on with my eyes, I like to bounce things out. I'm going to use a matte lip. So anytime, like, if I have dark eyes, I like to have a nude lip. If I have a popping lip, I like to have neutral eyes. Or if I have sparkle in the eyes, I like to have nude and matte. I know, so many things. So um, I'm going to use my favorite, and I'm almost out of it, MAC Taupe. This is the perfect nude lip, especially you brown skin chicks. You guys see that? I'm bad at swatching. And guess what? I have decided that. That. I don't like this lip. So, maybe I could tweak it. Maybe I can make it a little lighter. I'm going to use my melted sugar. Whoa. Okay guys, so that completes my day to night tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please watch, like, subscribe, share, comment, let me know if you like it, let me know if you don't like it, or if you just want to say hey, say hey, but don't leave me any mean stuff, okay, because I don't like that. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.